Row-level security can not only be implemented for users. I'm Carol from Dataducers, by the way, and if you have an organization with tens or hundreds or thousands of users spread all over the world, it's probably going to be a better solution to group those users by department, by country, depending on the use case, so that you don't have to keep a permissions table with hundreds of rows. Instead, you're going to keep a smaller data set with your grouping and assign the permissions at the group level. If you don't know how to create groups in QuickSight and you're interested in doing so, we have a video for that that you can check in the link that should be showing somewhere in the screen. And also, we have created a previous video about how to set up row level security, particularly for the users. So I will recommend you to go and see that video first. Um, the link should be somewhere in the screen as well. It's going to be sort of like an introduction to this one. And then you can come back here so that you have all the tools that you need to implement the role level security in QuickSight. So let's get to work and do this. If we come to our lookup table in the groups tab, we have three columns now. Let's talk a little bit about this. Here, instead of our username, we have a group name. We have three groups, Europe, Americas, and Global. Europe has permission to see the continent Europe. Americas have permission to see the continent North America, while Global has global permissions. Now, we have a third column there, and it's the country column. When you're creating this table to control your row level security, you can add as many filters as you want. In the scenarios that we have discussed, we were only filtering by continent. But now, we also want to filter by country, meaning that the group Europe is going to see the European continent, but only the data for the countries Germany and France. Any other European country is going to be visible for the users inside this group. So if we come back to our whiteboard, we're going to see the flow coming from here to our lookup table, this green line, and this is going to translate our permissions to a second level here, where instead of our continents, we're going to have a list of countries. And our permissions are going to run first by continent and then by country, in this case, Germany and France, and all the others are going to be dismissed. Also, for this example, Carol is going to be part of the global group. Angel is going to be part of my Americas group. And Simon is going to be part of my Europe group. So that's the user distribution per group. Of course, in a real world scenario, you're going to have, I don't know, maybe tens or hundreds of users inside one group, right? But this is just a very simple example. Now, let's see how we can implement this. As I mentioned, we implement this the same way we do with the users. I already have my groups mapping table in QuickSight. Let's take a quick look at it. And here we have the three columns, group name, continent, and country. And we already talked about the columns. Now let's go to our COVID data with your codes data set and let's edit the row level securities and attach the groups mapping to it. Let's apply apply and now we are applying these filters and as you already can imagine now with my administration user I will not be able to see anything now let's go and let's see what angel can see remember that angel is part of the Americas group and they are going to have access to all the North American continent. And 
this work as expected. Now let's take a look at Karel, which is part of the global group. And again, he's able to see all the data. Now, let's take a look at Simon. Remember, Simon is part of the European group, but the European group has access to the Europe continent, but only to France and Germany. So let's see how that works. And here you have it. Now, Simon is only able to see Europe as a continent and inside Europe only France and Germany. He's not able to see any other European continent. And if you look at the totals here, is almost a millions, and that's the addition of five plus almost three million. So this total is only France and Germany, anything else is showing up. And this is how you implement role level security at the groups level and also how you can add multiple filters in your lookup tables.